Hello! In this tutorial on C++, I want to show you the friend uh, uh, keyword. With the friend keyword you can define a function, actually just declare a function, which actually can access to private variables in this class, although it is not uh, although it is not in this class. So, let's write it. Friend, and the, after the friend, the, the, the declaration, the prototype of the function. So, void uh, write priv. Oh, by the way, I've already made a program, as you can see, and probably you understand, because this is just a very simple program. It has a uh, then private variable, and a constructor which construct from a double and and the get priv function which will return the private variable all the time times you don't want to um, uh, write a function uh, which is inside for example in case of you want to access two uh, classes the uh, private it's sometimes needed, but mostly it is needed when we learn ob uh, operator overloading. In this case, some operators, for example, plus minus and multiply division and i and o stream. So this should be friends. So it should be a global. All right. So uh, yeah, let's make it here. Void right brief like that all right and actually it should get a parameter which has a thing uh, type actually we want a reference because it's increased the performance so thing t for example and just write out t dot brief and make a new line after it and in here just make a uh, instance of thing so thing something and uh, make a some uh, value all right and then we call write priv function as you can see we don't write thing dot write priv we just uh, write write priv because it's a global function in here we don't even put that, that this because it is not part of this thing class it is just uh, its line just tells this class that it's a friend so if someone is some some function is a friend of our class it can access to the private variables actually th that's it it is just as simple as that all right and we give the something to it like that without that all right and now save it compile it all right and now we can run it oh okay and as you can see it can write out private Okay, this tutorial was uh, uh, it's a little short because uh, it's not so interesting in itself, but it will be when we declare our IO stream, so we write out the class, so operator overloading, and plus minus such, thi uh, such things. Alright then, thank you for watching and have a great day.